Hello everyone, welcome to TAKA YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the time when we think about the TAKA, mm -hmm. you always introduce Casey and mm -hmm. Ungu, we are co-founders. But mm -hmm. today it's very special because I want to interview you separately. Oh, yeah, right. without Ungu, right. so we can share individual story, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So, okay, thank you for your time. Thank you and for your time. Could you introduce yourself very briefly to the audience? Briefly, briefly. I'm Casey Narti, American living and working in Seoul, South Korea. I'm the co-founder of the Teach North Korean Refugees Global Education Center, but also I'm a columnist and blogger with mm -hmm. the Korea Times newspaper. I also teach public speaking at the Seoul University of Foreign Studies. Wow, lots so many titles, right? yeah, lots yes, of things. Lots of things so. Yeah, can you continue? Yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, so you mentioned that uh, you are the co-founder of Teach North Korean Refugee. We are in now, mm. and I'm a I'm a staff now. Yeah, before student, I was student and development coordinator. Yeah, but I didn't ask you specifically what made you to establish TNKR for North Korean refugees. Uh, yeah, briefly. Um, my life. It's okay. Brief. I can talk longer now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, permission, okay. I will so. cut it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm cutting for the floor. Okay, so, uh, but basically, my life changed on March 1st, 2012. Wow. Uh, about 30 North Korean refugees have been captured in China, mm -hmm. and they were going to be sent back to North Korea. And I was just here working at one of the research institutes, but I had no plans to stay here. Mm -hmm. uh, but I started going to some of the protests in front of the embassy. Yeah. And then, one day, Park Sun Young was yeah. holding a hunger strike. Wow. And I saw she her. She's North Korean? Or no, South, South Korean. Korean. She from the South National Korean. Assembly, Mo Wang Cho. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Park Sun Young. So, mm -hmm. um, she was holding a hunger strike, and I went over to her, mm -hmm. and I said, I'm going to get involved. Because mm -hmm. before, just kind of, as a researcher, just paying attention to North Korea. Yeah. But that was the moment I said, I'm going to get involved. And she said, oh, that's nice. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I mean, like, life-changing moment. Okay. I'm going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. uh, so I started volunteering, first of all, with her school mm -hmm. um, as a volunteer coordinator. And then after that, um, I was looking for ways to get involved. But I was doing lots of things, sending air balloons, mm -hmm. joining with the people. Just yeah, many, many things. Yeah, lots yeah. of things. But then, um, some of the North Korean refugees that I knew at the time told me that that's nice, but that doesn't help those of us who are here. Mm. So I asked, so what do you need? Mm -hmm. He said, English. Okay. I said, okay, let's get you English then. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then I met Ungu, uh -huh. and we were talking about what we could do. And then, I mean, I just said, you know what, I'm helping the school but it's with children, mm -hmm. and they have lots of programs and support, yeah, right. but the adults don't. Mm -hmm. So let's find a way to help the adults. And we talked, and then it turned out that adults need help with English, so yeah, let's do that. That's right. Yeah. Many people think escaping is the hardest moment mm. for North Korean refugees, mm. but we settled down in South Korea. Second but battle. Yeah, <laughs> it's a hell, actually. <laughs> It's hell <laughs> without knowing English. <laughs> even you cannot buy the bread because you don't know what tasty is. Even you don't know what name is. Right, right, so. <laughs> that that that's why North Korean mm. refugees, especially the North Korean mm. students mm. at university, need English. Right, yeah. yeah. Mm. But you mentioned that before there are also many uh, lots of programs about teach English for North Korean refugees. Mm. But why? the volunteers mm. choose TNKR. Why North Korean refugees come to TNKR to learn English? Yeah, okay, I hope I can remember them all now, but okay. there are five main reasons for mm -hmm. both. Uh, for volunteers, the, the first reason is that they are teachers, mm -hmm. but typically they're teaching children, Okay. And you know, children don't really care. No <laughs> teacher, game teacher. Let's play a game teacher. So no teacher. No. Give me chocolate, so, please. Right. So they want to teach people who are motivated, uh -huh. and then they learn about the students in our program, and mm -hmm. they're motivated to learn. So a lot. Of, so that's the first group. Mm -hmm. Second group, I call them NGO hoppers. 
I see. that they might already be connected with nonprofits helping North Korean refugees, or maybe something like North Korea, mm -hmm. um, maybe doing web yeah. or design, graphic design or video, but they don't yeah. get to interact I with see. North Korean refugees. So they find out about us and then they want to join with us. Mm -hmm. uh, then the third group are the ones who they are working professionals but not teachers. Mm -hmm. So they, I mean, psychologists, writers, reporters, business people, yeah. a wide range of people who are not in English teaching but they want to help. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the fourth group, these are the ones that they just believe in justice. Okay. Uh, they want to hurt North mm -hmm. Korea. <laughs> they want to do something, yeah. uh, but they can't find the thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so then they learn about us, and then it's like, okay, I can help teach English. Yeah. Uh, and then the fifth group are, are the ones who they're just curious. Okay. They read about North Korea in the news. Yeah. They think, oh wow, maybe I can do something, but they don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. And then they learn about us, and then, okay, I can teach English. Okay, yeah, that's so those are the, tangible results. So, yeah, I can see, I can read, yes, I can speak to right, right. people. So those are the five reasons that we identify. Some others might have some personal reasons sometimes, yeah. like Korean Americans, mm -hmm. like have um, okay. had relatives. So there are other reasons, but those are the five main reasons we've identified. But what about North Korean students? Because also there are lots of problems that mm. they, they can get help. Right, but right. Why choose TNK? Well, a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, because it's one to one. Mm, yeah. yeah. So it's um, very so expensive. If if our like TNKR, you have to be a lot. Fifty dollars yeah. an hour at least, mm -hmm. uh, because it's one to one. That's one of the main reasons. But yeah. but when I say one to one, I mean one to one every time. Okay. A lot of people think that means okay, you do one to one sometimes. Okay. okay. And I said no, 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 mm -hmm. every time. Uh -huh. We don't do workshops, we don't yeah. do seminars, we don't have camps. Okay. Teach one person uh -huh. and make sure that, that person learns. Is there any reason only just one to one? Sure. Not seminar and other conference right. together, the well, other meeting? For a couple of reasons, because mm -hmm. we say learner centered. Mm. And the best way to be learner centered yeah. is you're the only learner in the class. <laughs> That's one thing. Yeah. Another thing is that. We actually experimented with some small group things. We allowed mm -hmm. tutors um, to have more than one person. Yeah. But we would quickly hear from the students, oh, the other guy, he talks so much. <laughs> I didn't have a chance. <laughs> 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 you know? so, so, I can't understand. Right? So someone will complain, and they're yeah. at different levels. And um, so that's one thing. Another thing is that in talking to the students, yep. um, so many of them said that, oh, you know, um, I've been in classes at Hagwons, mm -hmm. at the language institutes with South Koreans, mm -hmm. but they are above my level. Mm -hmm. And when I ask a question, it seems so stupid. And some of the, the South Korean language teachers, yeah. they're like, you don't know that? Everybody knows that. Oh, so no. That's what they were telling us. So then, we heard enough things that they really love one to one. Okay. That they can get the group classes so, uh, so many other places. Yeah. But this is the one place mm -hmm. they knew it was going to be one to one only. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, but there are other reasons. Um, the fact that they get to choose. Yeah. Yeah. So, and they can choose as many as they want. Mm -hmm. So our all-time champion is a student who chose eleven tutors. <gasps> Each tutor. Minimum twice a month. So there is no limitation. No limitation. The only limitation is the number of people in the room. That's oh, the only okay. limitation. Uh, because of coronavirus? Oh, uh, no, no, before that. So I'm yeah. saying that that was about um, five years ago. Okay. That he chose 11. Uh -huh. uh, but I mean, if that means 11 times 2 means at least 22 yeah. classes, 90 minutes each. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's so that's a lot. lot. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah, that's but we don't face any limit. Okay. Uh, students, only thing is, if there are 15 people in the room, you can choose all 15, as long as they are available. So it gives the power to North Korean refugee students. And they know they've got the power when they come to us. But what about volunteer teachers? Mm -hmm. they, they are so worried to be mm -hmm. not to be chosen. Okay, so uh, when students come to us, yeah. they have a common question they ask, and also uh -huh. there's a common question the volunteers ask. Okay. Do you know? Uh, uh, yeah, but I'm not going to tell. Okay. It's your story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So the most common question that the refugees ask is, when can I stop? Ah, okay. Yeah, um, so they're so eager. Mm -hmm. The most common question for the volunteers is, yeah. will I be chosen? <laughs> I mean, really, every time someone asks that question, mm -hmm. and then different people are more worried. For example, second language speakers are worried, will I be chosen? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes people from other countries, not mm -hmm. America, mm -hmm. wonder, will I be chosen? Okay. Sometimes racial minorities, black yeah. people or Latino, whatever, they might wonder, will I be chosen? Ah. So for a variety of reasons, but at a core level, mm -hmm. just everybody in the room is wondering, will I be chosen? And so many teachers say they feel like they're back in elementary school <laughs> and they're choosing sides and are they going to choose me? <laughs> so, but so is there any work. complaining for that to you? Uh, not to me. They might complain to each other. Uh, I see. So the number one reason way people will complain is not to show up. Ah, uh -huh, you know? okay. But as far as people in the room, there's just nervousness when I be chosen. Now we've had more than 1,050 volunteers. And oh, team wow. tutors, mentors, and coaches. Yeah. Only about eight did not get chosen. Okay. And but every time it was understandable. Because one time we had one volunteer, very nice businessman. Mm -hmm. He wanted to help, mm -hmm. but he says I'm only available on Thursday, mm -hmm. 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. at Kangnam Station, mm -hmm. exit 11. <laughs> So the student had to go to him, mm -hmm. and he only had two hours. Okay. So it just wasn't really attractive. Yeah, that's yeah, right. right. So not so many choices. Really. Not many choices, but also I think the students feel like oh, I'm kind of bothering him. Yeah. Yeah. So I know he's so busy. Okay. So the tutors who are really popular are available. Hey, I can teach you anytime. <laughs> so then that feels more comfortable mm -hmm. because the person is volunteering. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So so we, but we don't we, we don't get complaints about that. It's just more of nervousness. Right? Yeah, but it's for me it's very incredible you lead the TNK. It's not supported by government mm -hmm. and anything else. Right. Just involved with the people who mm -hmm. want to help North Korea. Right. It's the fundraising and the money. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Maybe sometimes you might even just say, oh my god, I was just sure I stop here or just go to a job so that I can make a lot of money due to your background. Yeah. But what made the encouragement to lead you to continue this work for North Korean refugees? Okay, well, uh, to be clear, my career is focused on educational freedom. Mm. So that people can increase their education mm -hmm. and then they'll have more choices okay. in life. So that was the work I did in Washington, D.C. with low-income parents, mm -hmm. uh, helping their children yeah. go to a better school, mm -hmm. and then they can have better lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the kind of work that I do. Okay. Uh, so this is another example of that. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the most dramatic example yeah. of that. Yeah. Uh, this is the one that basically I've just given my life mm -hmm. to focus on this. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, but that's what I do. I'm interested okay, in Okay, so your passion yeah. and due to your background, what you well, have done. Passion and purpose uh -huh. so together mm -hmm. and so yeah I never get tired wow but, but I, I think the other people get tired they get tired of me saying support the organization come volunteer give your time I think people other people get tired but I don't get tired <laughs> That's amazing. So I can use his passion around the country. Casey, let's do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I never get tired. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. no, it's enjoyable. Look, when I was in college, I was a mover. Uh -huh. Wow, mover. Yeah, that can make you tired. <laughs> but I was just at the computer, <laughs> having meetings, talking to people. Oh, yeah, some, some people tired. don't want to talk with people. Yeah, but it's easy. It's fun. Yeah, everyone so is tired. Everyone has different unique <laughs> skill, <laughs> right. but you got incredible skill, I think. Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, I enjoy it. That's people. the key thing. Yeah. Is yeah. there anything you want to deliver something to uh, people last week? Uh, yeah. Okay. Get involved. That's yeah. it. Um, so the main thing is that people want to try to save the world. They want to do like just great big things. Mm -hmm. But every day you can do something. Yeah, little and things can change little things. Little things can change things. Actually, on, on the TNKR website, mm -hmm. uh, we posted something 15 minutes a day with TNKR. Mm -hmm. That in 15 minutes, you can do something. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can message people, you can yeah. find contacts for us, 
Uh, so lots of things that people can do okay. on a day-to-day -day basis. So we encourage people, don't try to save the whole world. Mm -hmm. In many cases, you'll probably destroy the world <laughs> if you really had the power. <laughs> so don't try to change the whole world, but just do something in a practical don't, way. Don't destroy the world. Don't destroy the world. Yeah, because the people who want to change the world are usually the people who should be stopped. <laughs> Because I'm sure there are bad ideas. Oh, yeah. But the point is that people can do something every day instead mm -hmm. of just thinking, five years from now, I'll do something. Ten years mm -hmm. from now, I'll do something. Do something now. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. That's a good point. And mm -hmm. also, while I have an interview, I was just so surprised mm -hmm. when I asked why volunteers work mm -hmm. with the TNK. Why students come to TNK? Mm -hmm. You know the specific reasons. Oh, yeah. Five reasons. We talked to them. Yeah. yeah. Ah. We talked to them. I mean, the thing is, this program yeah. is not based on someone just sitting at their desk and saying, mm, what should we do? Mm -hmm. No, it's because, I mean, Ungu and I both quit our jobs. Yeah. We started focusing on this. Mm -hmm. We talked to the volunteers. Mm -hmm. We talked to the students. Mm -hmm. We always want feedback. We try to monitor everything that's going on. Yeah. We don't monitor to punish. We monitor to learn. Okay. What is it that we can do? Okay. What's going on? Yeah. What are people talking about? Mm -hmm. uh, and then when we learn those things, we can then build up the program even more. When we first started, uh, one of the first things I said to Ungu, after we decided we're going to make something out of this, mm -hmm. we're not going to benchmark anybody mm -hmm. by any other organizations. Mm -hmm. We talk to students. We talk to the volunteers. Directly. Directly. So why do I need to talk to another organization mm. about what they're doing? Talk to the people who come to us. Yeah. So I, that's why I encourage the volunteers. Mm -hmm. I mean, I put my phone number everywhere. Mm -hmm. I put my email address everywhere. Just contact me. You know, come see me. I put office hours like I'm a professor. I post office hours. You can come visit me this Wednesday. 11 to 2, I'll be available. You are a really maker, not follower. Right, not a follower at all. Yeah. So, but, yeah. I think I believe, I, I just, I'm sure there are lots of people could be criticized or something, mm -hmm. what you do, mm -hmm. but I want to ask them just uh, what can you do for the people? You know what? Don't criticize. What? Okay, so actually, um, Howard Fuller is a professor, activist based in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. One of, and I worked with him for a number of years. One of the things he would say is, don't tell me what you think about what that guy is doing. Mm. Tell me what you're doing. <laughs> yes! Let's oh my God. That's conversation based yes. on what you're doing. <laughs> Yeah, that's the point for making better society. Right. Yeah, yeah. not criticizing, not judging each other. Yeah, and, and, and the thing is, and now if you want to criticize, yeah. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. But you know what? You now have the job to make it better. Okay. If you come to me and you want to criticize something, yeah. well, guess what? I'm going to assign you to the task of making it better instead of just telling me why the other guy is wrong. Yes. <laughs> yes. So. How was the interview with the, the former oh, student? Like I'm talking to my dog. <laughs> <laughs> my dog oh. suddenly starts talking to me and I just keep looking and saying, is this real? Wait a second. And then maybe his grammar is wrong. He's talking to me. <laughs> I don't care if his grammar is wrong. We can communicate each other right, now. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you for your time and then it's it's very nice to talk with you because you mentioned oh my god I feel like my dog's like, yeah finally <laughs> because of TNKR so please please support TNKR and we will always be for you mm. uh, as a North Korean refugee and as a uh, development coordinator of TNKR yes, right. he was a co-founder all the time in the office <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't go to uh, the home sometimes <laughs> <laughs> so please when you are wondering something about North Korea and TNKR email to him and support and share this video mm. and click and subscribe love tnkr.org yes mm -hmm. thank you very much see you next time bye okay.